In Acts chapter 21, it's like we're just journeying with Paul on his move to see the whole world reach with the gospel. And he has a heart to get to Jerusalem. But listen to what happens. Let me pick up the story in verse 10. It says, several days later, a man named Agabus, who had the gift of prophecy, arrived from Judea. He came over, took Paul's belt, and bound his own hands and feet with it, and said, the Holy Spirit declares, so shall the owner of this belt be bound by the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem and turned over to the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and all the local believers all begged Paul not to go on to Jerusalem, but he said, why all this weeping? You're breaking my heart. I am ready not only to be jailed in Jerusalem, but even to die for the sake of the Lord Jesus. When it was clear that we couldn't persuade him, we gave up and said, the Lord's will be done. Now this is what I find so interesting about this. The Apostle Paul has a passion and a heart to go to Jerusalem. Those around him, those even being led by the Holy Spirit, give him a very clear warning. Listen, if you go to Jerusalem, they're gonna bind you. They're gonna come against you. Paul, listen, there's gonna be opposition. And for many, they would say, well, listen, if there's opportunity but opposition, God couldn't be leading. God would never want me to be uncomfortable or stretched. Now, whether or not Paul should have gone to Jerusalem, I'll leave that up to the Lord to tell us one day when we're in heaven. But one thing that I do glean from this is this very simple reality. To be a Christian is not to be one who hides from opposition or one who seeks it, but one who follows the Lord. And when opportunities arise and opposition comes, we don't run. We recognize that following the Lord, it is a journey. There are challenges, there are perils, there are even dynamics that may cause uncomfort and dis-ease. Not disease, but dis-ease. But see, our greatest calling in life is to serve the Lord with a pure heart and pure hands. Not to necessarily look for just the place that's most comfortable or most convenient, but that place which is most Christ-honoring. And for Paul, he felt in that time and in that day, Jerusalem was the spot. Even though he was warned, Paul, it's gonna become tight. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Paul said, be that as it may, I'm headed to follow and to serve Jesus. And let me just encourage you this morning, serve Jesus wholeheartedly. Don't shirk away from opposition. Don't seek it. Don't be one who's always out to, to make a statement, but follow the Lord. And if opportunity does bring obstacle or opposition, that's not necessarily an indication that it's not the Lord's will. Oftentimes, it's opportunity plus opposition where God does his greatest miracles.